from Utron to Mo2. Here's your look at the Master Universe Turtles of Grayskull, Krang, Alien Brain, in a Megator Android. In a mad science experiment gone wrong, Krang crosses dimensions and discovers the strongest power in the universe, the power of Grayskull. Now with a stronger, faster Megator android body, Krang will stop at nothing until the power is his. Sure, yeah, Krang's got ideas, but I doubt Skeletor's taken suggestions from someone else's stomach. Just before we get a closer look, though, at Turtles of Grayskull, Krang, the tape measure is first going to tell us that the figure stands at 8 inches in height. Wow, this guy's pretty big. And that translates to a figure that's 20 centimeters tall. Well, I don't have a Skeletor yet, but I do have at least a Shredder. Here's what the figure looks like with Shredder, and therefore also what a standard Mass Universe Origins figure body would be. Krang, as you can already see, I mean, he's towering over Shredhead. Shredder only goes to about the bicep or so of the android body. Uh, a couple of larger figures here. Here's what the figure looks like, though, with Ram Man. Really neat figure. I always was a big fan of the Ram Man figure that we've gotten. In fact, I've actually kind of been more interested, honestly, in the evil bad guys than I have actually the Turtles. Speaking of which, though, I just... Coincidentally enough, here's what the figure looks like as well with Leonardo. And here's what, as well what the figure looks like with the mutated He-Man. Lots of stuff comes in clue with Krang, but one thing the figure doesn't come in clue with eh, is that he doesn't have a mini comic. Similar to Slackor that we looked at earlier, the figure instead comes in clue with a big giant card. What am I going to do with this card? Anybody want to anybody throw out some ideas what I can do with this card? Hang it on the wall! I'm not going to hang this on the wall. Look at the size of this. Plus, as well, I would like to get myself a frame. I, I don't think, can't think I just put this on the wall the way it is right now. So, sorry. Your suggestion for putting it on the wall is being dismissed. Ah, on the back of the card. Yes. We've got Krang, the alien brain in a Megator android, mutagen master powers. Krang, genius alien warlord, master strategist and tactician, dimension X gadgets and tech. Megator, on the other hand, is giant strength in an android body, grows to giant size and weapon augmentation. Pretty cool. Still not going to put it on the wall, though. Put it off to the side, though, instead. The figure also comes included with a little pamphlet guide. And while you think for a second, there's no way you can swap the parts out. You can can swap the parts out the head the arms the lower abdomen area the trunks as well as the lower boots can all be swapped out with other motu figures let's put it off to the side the figure also comes in clue of course if you're gonna be looking at krang you have to as well be looking at krang himself Krang comes included. Uh, he's a quite a little small-sized Krang, really. I mean, if you're looking at him and then you're looking at the scale of what the giant android body would be, Krang is just tiny. Looks like he's actually made of like a very soft material that I could best describe as chewing gum. Perhaps this was a wad of someone's gum they just spit to the floor. Oh, come on. Head sculpt looks good, though. The thing, unfortunately, about Krang is while he looks good from the front, there's a whole lot of emptiness on the back. And I'm not just mean from a literal sense. I guess I am mean from a literal sense. A lot of emptiness going on the inside as well. He's got dark past, dark past in his, in his life. Anyways, the closer look to his face does reveal, as you can see, they've painted each of the individual teeth, all six of them. They've also painted as well his eyes. But, you know, again, like there's not a whole lot going on for the back. The whole idea, obviously, is the fact that you, you're going to put it inside his stomach. Uh, the figure also comes included not only with a ball and chain, but also as well an axe. While the ball and chain is very much dedicated to the idea of swapping out the hands, so you're really not going to be able to hold this on its own. There's no way, like for example, if you took the figure's hands, yeah. I mean, if they had only made this long enough, then it could also serve as an actual weapon he could wield. But with the peg being as small as it is, there's no way. There's no way you're going to be able to get this in his hand. I mean, you can get it in there almost, but I guess if you wanted to, you can kind of just balance it on the floor like that. I say floor, I, you know, obviously I just mean backdrop. If you have it like that, sure, okay. You can convince, I'm sure, the people that aren't in the know that the guy is actually holding his ball and chain. When in reality, I know, you all know, even the kid that was just disappointed a, a while ago, all know there's no real way that he can actually hold the chain legitimately. Legitimately. Uh, he does also, however, come in clue with an axe. The axe, though, can, however, be held. So unlike, though, the ball and chain, you could take this and you can fit in his hands. Now, he has two gripping hands. Uh, it's just obviously a case of you kind of have to get the axe and just wedge it in between there. And sometimes doing this, though, let's just put the figure down here for a second. Things just start to fall apart on him. You know what? We'll put this on his hand first just to show you guys that unlike the ball and chain, it can actually fit into his hands. Get it in there. Get it in there. 
here we go. There we go. While you're doing this as well, make sure you don't lose these ringlets. If you lose them, oh boy, you're in a world of hurt. Just plug that in his hand like that. You can see, yeah, he's holding the axe. Fine, fine and good. But what you could do as well, thinking outside the box, is that you can also as well remove his hands, which I've already kind of started to do with this one side. Just go ahead and remove the hand. You can keep really the ringlet in place. You don't have to remove his little tiny bracelets. Just take the axe, plug it in the one side. And I did notice though, when you are putting it into the holes that you really have to kind of make sure it's twisted all the way in there. Cause it is, it seems to be falling out frequently on me, not on me, but uh, you get the idea. Then of course, we're going to do the same thing on the other side as well. Just twist the hands from the peg. This hand really of the two was the harder one to remove. Take the ball and chain. Now it doesn't have to be on this side. It doesn't have to be this configuration. You'd like to have it the other way around. You can do it the other way around. And now Krang is displayed with both melee weapons attached onto the ends of his forearms. How about that? Likely going to be the way I'm going to be displaying the figure. I just think it, it looks so much neater. The fact that Krang is also as well someone that can augment his body. So obviously the idea with him being able to change his limbs out for other weapons makes perfect sense in this guy's eyes. Uh, if you did, though, want to. I'm going to just remove the weapons for right now. I'm going to put his hands back in place. I'm sure, though, as we jump to the final looks to the figure, obviously, look on the turntable, the figure's probably going to have those weapons back on the sockets. You can count on me. I'll do it. I won't let you guys down. Plug the hand back in place. There we go. I want to, again, make sure it's all the way on there. I don't know. These hands seem to fight with me the whole time. Could be all the moisturizer that I've also used on my hands. Why did I have to put so much moisturizer on my hands? It's just because I wanted to have soft, supple skin for this review. Nobody says soft, supple skin. I say soft, supple skin. Anyways, though, getting a closer look at Krang's body. The one other thing I did change out of the packaging was that actually this part right here was a separate piece. For all intents and purposes, if you wanted to, these, of course, can be mixed and matched with other Master Universe figures. Even this one, even this actually can be swapped out as well. But if you did, though, want to, I don't know why you would, but you could choose really to have the figure without the middle torso piece added. And with that, the size comparison seems a little bit more closer to Shredder. I mean, he's still going to be taller than Shredder, yeah, but it doesn't look as much a, a big of a giant when you compare him along with Shredder this way. Funny, though, enough, you could also, going back to the whole idea of this, I know we haven't yet put Krang inside of this. If you wanted to, I'm sure anyone is throwing out the questions right now. Can you swap these out? Can you add these with other turtles? Well, you can. Just pop that in place. Take the top torso here of Shredder. This would be not the kind of relationship Shredder's been hoping for this whole time. That Krang is now, well, Krang's over here. Shredder! Krang is over here. Shredder, ugh, Shredder's right here. But yeah, you could really, if you wanted to, you could use the Krang middle compartment space. A little you know, like cat carrier here. You could also have this displayed and mixed and matched with other Motu figures if you wanted to. I think Shredder has been embarrassed, what, three, four reviews now? Let's just put him off to the side right now. But if you did want to, uh, now that we have the cat carrier here, uh, if you did want to, you could put Krang inside, obviously. You're just going to open up the... Now, there is a little lip right here. I find, honestly, the lip is very difficult to kind of grab onto, especially if you just recently trimmed my nails. I trimmed my nails. I also added, again, all the moisturizer just so I could look a little presentable for all you guys. But it results in me having a harder time to open this. Don't worry. Just take your finger in there, and that makes things a whole lot easier. Remember the whole empty chasm on the back of Krang's body? Well, the, there's a reasoning for that. That just plugs in place. And you can do a couple of things here with Krang as well. You could have, like, his hands facing forward like this. But honestly, though, the way they've illustrated on the back, it's also just squishing his poor hands together. It probably makes more sense to have them actually sticking out the sides. So you just have to kind of line Krang's arms out, fit them in on one side. I'm only doing it... One hand really is the one that you have to kind of worry about the most. The other hand you basically just guide into. There we go. Snap the quarter shut, and now you got Krang inside. Shredder! You got Krang inside the little mid-abdomen area. Then, of course, from there, you're going to go ahead and take yourself the Krang body. Open that back up. Take Krang, pop him back in place. Take the top of the torso... Snap that in place as well. That wasn't the plastic. That was my mouth. <laughs> See? <laughs> it was me. Getting, though, a closer look now at Krang. I love the idea that they took the uh, they took the robot version of Krang and they found a way to make it into a Motu style. Kind of looks like the, was it the Gamorrean guard from Return of the Jedi? <laughs> the guy that's guarding Jabba's palace. Looks a little bit like him. Love the way they've sculpted the visor. He's got this neat looking helmet there as well and a little tuft of hair on the top. The tuft of hair, if you're curious, does have posability. Anybody was... On the edge of their seat. Jeez, I really hope. I really hope that hair has some possibility. It does. 
But again, like there's some decent posability. We're kind of talk more about that in a moment. Uh, Krang does have, of course, the chains wrapped around. I love the way they kept the colors consistent. So he's kind of got like for this middle abdomen area, it's kind of a rock air, rock sculpting. And then they've just carried the rusted coloring for the chain all around the front of his body as well. So it looks like he's kind of wearing suspenders. Neat deco they've also done here for the front. Uh, I suppose they probably could have used something more similar to a Dimension X rather than just a simple skull. I don't know. Skull seems like it just doesn't really fit well with the kind of motif of Krang. I know, again, like he's he's part of Motu country now. And, of course, teaming up with Skeletor, he's probably taken a few influences from Skeletor. I don't know. I just think that that would have worked a little bit better as something from Dimension X instead. There's Krang down below here. Of course, just below that, he's also got himself an additional chain, a loincloth, and some decently sculpted boots. The boots, the hands, and also as well the helmet are this really bright, I would best describe it as a fluorescent pink like highlighter. Do they? I'm sure they still make like the four pack sets. There's always like the green, there's that really ugly looking pink, and then there's the yellow. I guess that would be a three pack. Kind of looks like the red highlighter, which usually is the one I go to because it reminds me of Brett the Hitman Heart. Head sculpt again, really good. A really, again, nice looking figure. And I like the fact he's also big too. This isn't a figure that they need to skimp on plastic. He needs to be big. He needs to be bulky. He needs to certainly be taller than Shredder. And Krang checks all of those boxes. For the figure's articulation, uh, Krang's head's going to be on a ball joint. I keep continuing to call this Krang. I know it is really technically the android body. The Megator does have upper torso, uh, up, head, or up head articulation. You can also rock it back and forth. And yeah, you can rotate all the way around. For those that were on the edge of their seat, ah, the, the hair, stop that. The hair does rotate all the way around. Uh, the waist swivels not only here, but also swivels down below here as well. Uh, the arms do hinge out at 90 degrees, no problems there. You can take as well the arms, rotate them all the way around, all the way around. I, I think if also you were deciding to make yourself some custom figures, I mean, again, you can pop the arms off here. I haven't done this yet for Krang. Just pop the arms off. You probably get yourself a much larger arm if you want to make yourself like an Incredible Hulk. Although I don't think Incredible Hulk would have the little bracelets, but you could also as well take those always off. Plug that back in place. The figure does have a swivel in his arm where just below his bicep. Single hinge in the elbow. Hands rotate, well, all the way around if you're deciding to display the figure with the hands. Uh, the legs split. They're on ball joints. So you can take the legs and move them forward only just a little bit because the loincloth does get in the way of things. Swivel the top of the thigh. Single hinge only in the knee. Rotation there. A rotation in the boot. Ankle pivot up and down and ankle rocker as well. Mm -hmm. Peg holes on the undersides of the figure's feet, just in case you are curious. And there you have Krang. Krang looking quite good, quite big, quite bulky in his Megator body. One last time, even though we've embarrassed him more than enough. Here's what the figure as well looks like with Shredder. Still got to get my hands on. I mean, I am behind. I am behind getting all these figures. Still need to get myself a Skeletor. We have now just recently seen there's new Hordak. Hordak with wings. He looks pretty cool as well. But, uh, you know, again, I also want to thank Daryl. Daryl hooked me up. Um, in fact, he's actually hooked me up on a couple of Motu reviews as of late. He was able to find actually Krang because I haven't had any luck finding this guy in the wild. Finally now have him in my collection. And Krang looks good. He looks good with Shredder, whether you have Shredder or you have just skipped right over Shredhead in favor of Skeletor and wanted to get Hordak. I like that he's big. I like that he's bulky. I like surprisingly as well that he's green. I don't miss the fact that he's not that kind of beige, kind of creamish color that the Megator body generally would have been in the past. It's an all in all nice looking Krang, one that I'm really now welcoming into my collection as I would say probably one of my favorites so far that we've gotten from the Turtles of Grey Skull line. When first we were teased by Android Body Krang inside one of the mini comics that came included with the Turtles of Grey Skull figures, I knew it was a figure that not only was I hoping that Mattel would eventually release, but then the point came when they would release it, it was a figure I knew I had to have in my collection. Having now checked off both, Mattel did produce it, obviously the proof is in the pudding, and now finally having it in hand, Krang doesn't disappoint in the slightest. He is, though, I think going to be a little bit more expensive. Now, I, I, again, I can only base that from what the price I paid for this figure was a little bit more than a regular Motu figure, but well worth the price to finally get this guy in all his giant size. The thing that's neat about him is that, like other Motu figures, there's components to his, like his limbs, his lower half of his body can all be detached, can all be replaced. So if you did want to have him literally joined at the hips to Shredder, you can do that as well. The Krang, though, body obviously is going to work the best if he ha actually has a little cat carrier holding Krang inside his mid-abdomen area. But the idea that you could remove it is a nice touch on Mattel's part. And, of course, the fact that he does have augmentation means that you can do away with the hands that he has right now, or the hands he had before, in favor of now the, the ball and chain and, as well, the big giant axe. Definitely going to be the way I'm displaying the figure. 
For the figure that he is, the size that he is, he still packs all the same posability as your standard Motu figure. He just happens to have now the benefit of a big giant alien crang big body inside his body. Oh, what a nice looking figure this is. If you've had the chance to get Krang, you already know how good of a figure it is. If you haven't yet picked him up, I would definitely recommend it. What do you guys think of him? Is this a figure you guys could see yourselves adding to your collection? And admittingly, though, while I have been sort of, I don't know, just lukewarm to picking up the turtles, you may notice already I haven't really picked up any other turtles than the ones that we've already had a look at on this channel, that being Leonardo, that being Donatello. Still omitted is Raphael and Michelangelo. I'm sure at some point I'll get around to it, but I didn't want to get around to getting Krang. That was a figure that was on my top of my list, and I'm really happy now to have him. Well, if you guys did enjoy this video, why not throw it a like? Why not? You're here. You're doing things anyways. Want to do the next thing of hitting a like. The next thing you can also do as well, if you are new to this channel and you want to stick around for more, I certainly hope that you will. Uh, just an FYI, uh, fui, if you will, there's going to be some Mode 2 figure cover reviews coming your way. Not necessarily Turtles of Grayskull, but I will tell you, though, there's going to be some Masters of the Universe stuff coming your way this week. Just to lure you guys in, hopefully. Hit that subscribe. Turn on the bell. Come back, please. As always, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.